Today I'll be taking you through the steps on how to fully configure our PT200 sample divider. To fully assemble the unit, you're going to need your base frame with four rubber grommets, your stand, your bottom cone, your mounting bracket for the housing, the housing itself, as well as the top cone. You're also going to have two sample bottles, as well as your reject collector and lid. You're also going to have the corresponding nuts and bolts along with a Phillips head screwdriver and your handy Allen key. The first step to configuring your brand new PT200 sample divider is to install the stand onto the base frame. What you're going to need for this is four complementary bolts. You're going to need a great handy Allen key. So what you're going to do is screw them into the four corresponding holes right at the bottom of the base frame. Once you have your base frame and stand fully configured, what you're going to want to do next is install the metal bracket to the back of the housing by inserting four screws into their corresponding holes. Once you have the mounting bracket onto the back of the actual housing, what you're wanting to do is line it up with the four corresponding holes on the back of the actual stand. Once your housing is completely mounted to the base frame, what you're going to want to do next is install the bottom cone into the top cone. Once the bottom cone is installed, what you're going to want to do next is install your reject collector and lid into the bottom of the bottom cone. Once your reject collector is installed, you're going to want to install your sample bottle into the corresponding outlet. The DR100 vibratory feeder for your PT200 sample divider comes fully equipped with the drive unit itself, the push feed chute and holder, along with the hopper and fixture. The first step to assembling your DR100 vibratory feeder is to screw in the holder for the push feed chute by inserting two screws into the corresponding holes. Once the holder is fully screwed into the drive unit, the next step would be to slide the actual push feed chute into the holder itself. Once your push feed chute is installed, the next step is to install the fixture onto the mounting rod of the drive unit. Once your fixture is fully installed, the last step would be to place the actual hopper into the fixture itself. To sync the two units together, take your provided data cable and insert it into the back ports of each unit. Once all steps are completed, you will now have a fully configured PT200 sample divider and DR100 vibratory feeder complete setup.